Jeez, I was trying to make this video before, but then it died. The camera died. We got flat tire again? Oh, freaking no, man. Better not. This place, it's like the same freaking shit as over and over again. Got new flashlight. Nine dollars, mag light, Walmart. Oh, let's touch the microphone. So I'm looking at more stuff I have in a hoard. I just want to get rid of stuff. We got to do the seat by the weekend, I hope. It's like getting like 90 degrees here. And yes, 90 degrees. And like it's February. It's fucking horrible. Seriously. I'm not, I'm not joking either. It really is horrible. It's all, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I did see a little drip now and then. But I don't know. Could be just residual. So, I was looking at the exhaust manifold, saying that that would be cool to change the broken bolt. Oh, I got a broken bolt on that side now. Yeah, I just found it. Wasn't just snapped. The one all the way in the back. But this one is also broken. See, like, a, a stud? A stud and a nut? Alright, let's go up here now. Like the top, if you can even see. Like the top. I'll try to position the camera over here. Is that showing? No, it's probably not. Oh yeah, it is right there in the top. There's a freaking rusty old bolt over there. See that? Right on the top, rusty old bolt. Oh, why is there a rusty old bolt? Oh, is that a grade 5 marking? Oh, these are metric. So the fucking transmission shop, when I dropped this pipe, they must have broke a stud somehow. I don't even know how the hell they did it. There was no rust on this thing. Even if it did snap off, you probably could have got it out so easy. Because look, there is no rust on this thing. Even if it is a New York truck, there is literally no rust on this vehicle. But they broke it, so now I need to get a stud for it. And you look on the top, they totally fucking mangled those threads. Excuse my language, I'm just so mad at this the quality of people who fix stuff these days. And is at levels of such a low quality. That's what Ziggy Gassed Up was talking about. Someone who was working at their shop. They don't even know how to do anything. And these are the people who are just bouncing around. Shop to shop to shop. And it's so prevalent even down here. So this transmission, like I said, a bang second. It's probably not going to last. I'm probably going to really need to learn how to rebuild transmissions myself. I think I can probably figure it out. Because I'm just so mad and the quality of people. So now I need a stud. But the deal is with that. Let me get out of here. Let me get out of here. Should have brought out my creeper at night. It's so hot during the day though. Oh, much time we have. Shaky video. Patent by this channel. So what's the deal? I need to get a stud. So what they must have did is they either crammed a 3 gates bolt in the 10, I think it's like 10 by 1.5 hole or they drilled that shit out and they freaking just tapped it with the uh, the 3 8 bolt I'm not sure how good it's gonna fit in there 3 8 bolt in a 10 millimeter hole I think that would actually go in but the vice versa wouldn't work you can't cram a 10 millimeter in a 3 8 hole so I don't know what they did maybe I maybe the threads are totally fucked on it now that it needs like a helicoil I think that is possible, so anyone out there, can you helicoil in a manifold? I think I can. So I want to tackle that bolt on this side, it's really leaking. And the one on this side, all the way in the back, just snapped as well. And I can kind of access that pretty good. Well, you see, that's what it's supposed to have. You see the studs right there, the super bright flashlight, fix it up. Oh, that's what it, like it should have. Oh yeah, it's saturating the image. Yeah. Stupid fucking transmission shop. Yeah, we're not leaking though anymore. There's no trails leaking down there anymore. There used to be. There used to be. People, man. That's why I gotta do everything myself in the screwed up garage. And you gotta have aches and pains for four days. Because uh, no one knows what they're doing anymore. The, everywhere you go, the more people who touch your vehicle the more messed up it gets and why isn't it when I do it why isn't it or if I mess something up I just fix it I buy the right bolt I buy the right piece I fix it but like no one else seems to even want to do that I break a clip I change the clip no they leave the clip out you know this is nickel and dime they could have got the proper stud from a Chevy dealer for like six bucks and you could have got a nut 
for like 50 cents. And instead they do this butchery. And then they dent the pan and... That's the only thing anyone ever touched on that was vehicle. They do tires, which they nick up all the wheels. The morons at Costco. They nick up all the freaking wheels. It's like this one got it good over here somewhere. I don't know how the freak they do this shit. I never nicked up wheels when I did tires. Because I knew it pissed me off, so I never did it myself. But that's the deal. Anyone know about that? We got the two broken bolts now. I got all these parts and stuff. I gotta buy another $12 gasket. I already got bolts for it. But now I need to find a stud. Or I can maybe reuse that bolt. But you look on the top, it looks like there's all like a gap around the thread. So I don't even think that bolt's even attached to anything. Maybe I can just tack it in there. I don't know. I don't know how good it's gonna be. Helicoil might work though. What a nightmare. I gotta do the freaking headliner too. The seat. I want all these freaking parts in my room out of here so I have more room to hoard stuff. Simple as that. Unbelievable. It's just disappointing. But yeah, that job turned out good though. Oil pan and the uh, seal. Hasn't no much, no dry start. Still, still here a little tick though, but it could be a uh, maybe a mushroom push rod or maybe just a lifter and get a little hammered. Only does it when idles for a long period of time though, like 20 minutes. You know, idle, you hear it for like a second, like tick, 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 and then it's most, it's mostly quiet though. Hear nothing going down the road.